this week, canine officers from as far away as Utah are in Spokane for an advanced class for dog handlers. And in a story you'll see only on KXOI 4, Jeff Humphrey shows us how special training prepares these dogs for real police calls in the future. A police patrol dog is a very valuable tool, but just like a handgun, if the dog jams up when you really need it because it's distracted, that can put your life and somebody else's life in danger. And that's why these patrol dogs are learning to fly. Washington's full of some pretty far-flung places, and so if a dog learns what it feels like to ride in a helicopter now, he won't be distracted by the noise and vibration in the future. The more uh, difficult situations we can expose them to, the more confident they are out on the street which you know creates uh, you know just a, a more success as far as capturing bad guys and here in Spokane the bad guys often end up trying to swim the river to get away from the cops so the class exposes canines to keep after fleeing suspects even if it means just dog paddling to get where they're going absolutely he loves it um, and again it's it's seen that again and um, it's them getting those positive repetitions and winning every time that that's so crucial to training an animal deputy James Jason Nias and his partner Hyde made the trip over from western Washington. Hyde could sniff out drugs as well as find suspects on the run and shows why dogs are force multipliers in the war on crime. So they actually can replace several patrol officers if we have to clear buildings and whatnot. They're much, much quicker at that. They also uh, reduce the amount of force that's usually needed if you have somebody that is resisting. And don't think for a second that these animals, even when they're wearing a muzzle, aren't having a good time. They this school is like Disneyland for dogs. It's the handlers who are doing all the hard work. And so now these dogs will head back to their respective communities, better prepared to do their job no matter what the distraction. The tuition that these handlers leave behind gets reinvested in Spokane's canine program. Reporting at the training center, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.